Jason, just um, your thoughts on being able to do what you did after uh, you guys lost a tough one here, come back in game six, and then coming together to win game seven. How good of a feeling was that today? Uh, it was a great feeling. Like you said, um, losing game five was extremely tough. But um, it was all about how we bounced back and how we responded going on the road, you know, winning that must, must win game six and then the must win uh, game seven tonight. Um, and tonight was an extreme team effort. You know, um, you know, I couldn't be proud of the way that we just responded and how we played uh, to get this win. Jason, you, you pick up your fourth there uh, earlier in the third. What did you think about how the guys responded and kind of picked you up over the rest of that period? Uh, that was huge. Uh, you know, the way that they played uh, together, you know, moved the ball, made the right plays on both ends, uh, and extended the lead. Um, you know, I was extremely happy um, and excited watching them, watching the guys from the bench. What you doing? <laughs> uh, Jason, just what did you see from Grant, and was did he say anything after the game? I know after the Batman thing and everything, he likes to talk. So. Uh, <laughs> Grant played great tonight, right? Uh, he took more shots than anybody on the team. I think that's a first. Uh, he took 18 threes. Uh, I told him, don't get used to that. But obviously, tonight we needed it. He came up big, uh, played amazing, had 27 points. Uh, and in the playoffs, you need that. You know, you need guys, you know, you know the guys coming off the bench. Uh, to be a star in their role. And, you know, Grant won us a playoff game tonight, a game seven. Uh, you know, I'm extremely happy for him. This question is for Jason. Uh, what, what did uh, you guys say to Grant when he came back to the bench? I know that uh, you guys were encouraging him, but, like, what specifically were you telling him and how much were you threatening him if he dared not to shoot the ball when you passed it to him? Yeah. Uh, every shot he took tonight was a great shot. You know, he took 22 shots. He could easily took 30. You know, and we feel like he passed up or was hesitant because he missed a couple in a row. And I think uh, we're go we we just say play the right way, uh, make the right plays. And if Grant took 10 open shots in a row, you know, that's what we expect. You know, when guys be hesitant and pass up open shots, it kind of throws the rhythm, of, you know, of that playoff. So, uh, you know, we tell everybody when you open, shoot the ball. Let me open it. Hey, Jason, um, every series that you last out is, is tough. But this one seemed especially physically demanding, mentally demanding, the way you guys came back. It's a short turnaround now to game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. How do you guys turn the page, both physically and mentally, now to get your guys' minds and bodies right for game one in, in 48 hours? Um, yeah, I mean, this was, you know, it, it gets tougher. You know, from first round, second round, second round to the third round. Uh, you know, Milwaukee's a great team, extremely well coached. Um, all those guys over there, you know, most of my champions, obviously, they did it last year. So uh, it was not easy at all. You know, got to give them a lot of credit um, and respect. Uh, they made it, you know, extremely tough, and we had to earn this. Uh, so enjoy it right now. But, you know, go home, pack my bag, and, you know, get ready. For the next one, go to Miami. You talked to Laura about how grueling the seven-game series against Toronto was a, a couple of years ago. Um, how do you, what do you take from this? Um, beating what it took to to beat Milwaukee and the defending champions. Uh, yeah, this, this similar was kind. Of, this uh, series was kind of similar to that one. You know, Toronto was the defending champs at that time. I think I've grown in the sense of, you know, being more prepared. Um, obviously, this was, you know, I was tired after every game and things like that. But, um, you know, my body has matured since, you know, my third season. I've, uh, I'm stronger. You know, I take care of my body better. So I was, you know, just felt more prepared for each game. Uh, my body kept up um, compared to, you know, my third season and things like that. So, I mean, it was similar in how tough it was, you know, how they would guard me. You know, every game was extremely physical. Um, they're a big team, 
and they just make it tough on you. I have a couple. <laughs> Jason, how important was it for you and for this team that it was different guys in almost every game, whether it's Al Horford, Jalen had a game, Grant had his game tonight, how big is that? Uh, I mean, it's a team sport. And, you know, in the playoffs, you know, you play somebody seven times in a row, we know all their plays, they know, they know all our plays, they know all our tendencies. One second. And uh, so, it, you know, they're not just going to let me play free and things like that. So, you know, on different nights, it's going to be different guys. And everybody has to step up uh, to contribute to winning. And then you mentioned that series against Toronto. You guys get a rematch with Miami. You looking for a little redemption there? What do you want to say? You want to say something? Yeah. I was say, Deuce, are you excited to go to Miami? It's a good pool. So you can go swimming. Uh, I'll go swimming at my daddy's Miami. <laughs> All right, sit back. Uh, Redemption yeah. against Miami. Uh, you know, get to play Miami again. Another, you know, extremely physical team, obviously really well coached. Uh, you know, we played them two years ago in the conference finals. Uh, so just looking forward to it, you know, excited uh, being back in this position and, you know, trying to get over this hump. Jason, after game five, you kind of, you were rather upbeat. You know, you weren't down. You just, it seemed like you knew that you guys could accomplish this. What made you believe that? And did you really believe that? Or what was going through your mind after that? And then what, why, t how did you flip the script to kind of blow these team, this team out in the last two games? Uh, I, yeah, I believed it. Um, I believe in the work that we've put in. I believe in the work that I put in. Um, I was rather more, you know, I was excited for that challenge. You know, down 3-2, backs against the wall to go on the road against a great team um, and get a, a must-win game. I, I, was, I was excited for that. As much as it hurt to lose game five, uh, I was looking forward to that challenge um, and stepping up to that, uh, you know, because I believe, I believe in myself, I believe in this team, you know. I expected to play the way I did. I expected for us to respond the way we did. Uh, so as much as game five hurt, um, I was excited for that challenge. Thank you, Jason. Say bye. Say it louder. 